Hey guys, it's the Whiteout 60, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, give your Samsung Moment some more battery power. So, first off, I just want to say this has nearly uh, tripled my battery life. I can go all day. I charged this this morning. It's about uh, five o'clock right now. Oh, yeah. That's, <laughs> okay. Um, it's about five, and you can't. Maybe you can see it. My battery gauge is up there. It says 95% remaining. Um, so obviously that is a very uh, long battery life. I do have the uh, brightness turned down right now, but just for this video, usually it's at full brightness. And you might be wondering how I did this. So I'm going to tell you. So first off, you can see that this is a... Uh, um, gingerbread type theme I mean it's got like the black bar uh, everything you go in here very very similar to gingerbread so I'm gonna tell you how to make your phone look like this um, and to extend the battery life. So it's gonna require you to root your phone. If you're not comfortable with that, then you can just leave this uh, video right now. Um, I have not had any problems with rooting my phone in the past. The Sprint store guy actually even helped me fix my phone once when it was uh, rooted. So I'm really not worried about this at all. So, first things first is you're gonna have to go on your computer and uh, download the stuff that I'm going to put in the, in the description and basically it'll help you root your phone so if you take if you look over here for a second you're gonna have to download SW upgrade which is some oh, there it is which is right there um, you're gonna have to use SW upgrade here, let's see if it focus. Oh well, just SW upgrade, and that's what you're going to use to flash your phone um, back to stock ROM if you haven't already flashed it. Even if you already have flashed it, sorry, um, you're going to have to flash it back to stock ROM. Uh, so stock 2.1. No, please uh, notice this is going to erase everything on your phone. So uh, if you're um, if you want any of that stuff, just make a backup of it. And then using that same program, you're going to have to flash a 2.3 recovery onto your moment. So I'm going to show you what this recovery looks like. One sec. Oh, also, when you root, you get this, uh, you probably already know, here's wireless tether down here. Right there. Not the Sprint one. That one comes with it, but get the get the wireless uh, tether from the, from the market. Works great. I have not had any problems. Um, you do not get in trouble for downloading too much. Uh, last month I downloaded somewhere around 60 gigabytes of data um, using my wireless tether. So it's not an issue. Uh, so moving on. You're going to have to, after you flash it back to uh, stock. You're going to have to boot into recovery, and mine has a preset function for this, but you can boot into recovery by pressing uh, volume down, talk button, and uh, end button. And just hold that until you see a screen that says like Samsung or something, and it'll pull up to this eventually. You can see it. Now, the other files I'm going to give you are EB28. Um, which is the actual um, route you're going to use. And this will route your Android to Android 2.2. So what you're going to have to do is apply zip. So as you can see, M900 EB28. Hold on. M900 EB28 is on top. So just select that and press your black button at the bottom. And it will um, ask you if you want to continue. Just press home. It will flash it for you. Then you're going to want to flash the Crap 22 LED, which is a uh, Crap kernel with LED on. Just, just use LED on, it's better. And uh, that is right in the middle there. You want to flash that. 
and then you're going to want to reboot your phone. So after, you're re after you've rebooted your phone, check to make sure everything works okay, that you can get on the browser, uh, make a call or something. If you're having problems, just flash back to stock 2.1. Um, it'll return to normal. And then you're going to want to boot back into this recovery. Go back to apply zip from SD. Actually, go to data options first. And then press clear Delvic cache. Go to apply zip from SD card. And apply the Ekidal 4708EB28GB.zip. Now, please realize you do not, this is not a uh, necessary part of this entire process. You can do this if you want to make your phone look similar to mine with the, uh, with the entire gingerbread theme, but it's definitely not a necessary uh, feature to have. You can go on any site like SDX Developers, where I'm getting all this stuff. Please realize I did not <laughs> develop this stuff on my own. This is all from SDX Developers. You can go on their site, download a ton of uh, themes or anything that suit your needs. There's glass themes, there's uh, Sense, HTC Sense themes, there's all this stuff which makes your phone uh, behave and you look like the thing you're trying to emulate. So let's wait for uh, it to boot back up. Takes a second, but after it's back up and running, you'll be able to just log right in and uh, customize it to your please, to your liking. Sorry, <laughs> what I'm thinking. So. Takes a second for it to connect. And there we go. It looks like it's crashed or something. But, um, oh yeah, I also want to advise you if you're going to restart your phone, it does burn power. You probably should know that already. You can see right up there 85%. Either the battery gauge is broken or whatever, but. Okay, one more thing I want to show you before I go. I'm going to prove to you that this is running Android 2.2. There it is. Android version 2.2.2. That is the stuff right there. Can't really see it. Uh, there we go, that's the best. Um, build number, crap kernel, that's why you just flashed. And your, um, your about phone should look similar to that. I want to say that Android 2.2 also makes this phone run faster, and basically there's nothing bad about rooting. It's almost impossible to brick your phone like they all say you will. It's really hard to do that. I highly su suggest rooting. Um, if you have any problems, uh, just flash it right back to stock 2.1 and restart. Or if you just don't want to go at this anymore, it's okay. You can just um, stay with stock 2.1. Uh, that's basically all I've got to say. And I really hope you guys can make your uh, Samsung moment actually worth having um, and make it run fast again. So I hope you enjoy all this. Uh, subscribe, comment, rate. Thanks. Bye.